Alright, let's get ready for some more LP action with Mega Man V Part 2. Why am I trying to make hand signals? Anyway. So, we had just beaten Mercury the last round through. So now we're going on to face Neptune, who is a wimp. The stage might be kind of difficult, but that doesn't matter. Neptune time. Now, first thing you're gonna see are these Mets, which you can kill as long as you walk up to them right away and shoot them. Then there's this guy who will try to stop you, I just slide under him. Okay, sub boss, Hioe, however you say it. Uh, yeah, this first one's pretty easy because he's low down in the air. Ow. Um. Well, I don't mean he's low down in the air, I mean the ground's high up in the air, that's what I should have said. And he's dead. Moving on, we've got more of these Met like enemies. And more. Ow. That's what I thought. Yeah, those guys will only open up their helmets if you get close. And now another Hyoi, except this one with the, the ground's lower, which means it's harder to hit him. Fun, right? Anyway, is he dead yet? He's not dead yet, is he? Oh, freak you. And he's dead. Okay, moving on. Another stomper, and you move on to the next area in the level. Start with these flying things, take two hits to kill, and they explode after you kill them. Yeah, don't go near them when you're trying to kill them. Now, as for other things in this level, there will be cracks in pipes. If you shoot them, something will burst out, either steam or water, like I just showed you. Like that. Be careful not to die. He's dying's not good. Those stamp guys are not fun. Yeah, Steam. Reminding me of uh, a certain game that I don't like. Um, Mega Man V. Hit you, Wave Man! Anyway. Just dodge these things, it shouldn't be too bad. Anyway, might as well show you the Grab Buster. Yeah, see? Health. That's useful. You know, except for when the health just orbits around you like... That. And sometimes the health disappears off screen if it orbits. <laughs> Ow. Then there are these guys. Um, they just swim. Not much of a threat, except for what- Try and- try and kill them before they move, because they move pretty dang fast. And that's the thing, the Grab Buster is so useful because it takes so little energy, and you get health every time as long as it doesn't orbit you. And it basically causes the same damage as a regular Buster shot, so it's not like you're getting a super weak attack or anything. Like most time it'll cause more damage than the- uh, Mega Buster. Anyway, this is reminding me of a Lek Man. We. Hey, look, more Lek Man. We. Yeah. Anyway. Um. This is pretty much the beginning of it. Oh, these are things that I hate in this. You know. It's really annoying when you have to slide under two spikes. Yeah. Get really annoying, because you have to be perfect with those double spikes. Especially when I eventually reach, um... Uh, whatever stage. I think it's Venus? I don't know. One of the stages you'll see, that gets an even worse part. Hey look, more steam. 
Moving on. And we're at the boss room. Stunt droid. It's probably one of the few times I've ever seen the um, insignia be below the door. Battle time. I'm just gonna use the, the, the Super Buster Majiggy. Yeah, Neptune. He has a really simple pattern as long as you stay close to him. Basically, yeah, he'll just shoot that little thing. And you just gotta slide away, and you won't get hurt. Pretty easy, right? Yeah, if you get far away from him, he'll make those water droplets fall from the ceiling, which can be a bit more difficult, especially since the ground's gonna be shaking. But... As long as you don't get far away from him, you'll have an easy time. I'm actually doing quite bad in this battle. Anyway, um, yeah. Dead. That's annoying. And let's power up with our newest weapon. Which is retarded. Ting. We get useless. Also known as the salt water. Yeah, if it hits some, if it hits a wall, it will split off into three little water droplets. Anyway, that was part two. Pretty basic stage. Uh, uh, I'll continue this later. Bye.